Welcome to the transformative realm of mental health and black and white channel. Here, we embark on a journey through the intricate landscapes of the mind, unraveling complex issues into digestible insights. I am your host, Zen the Zebra. Today, our exploration delves into the profound realm of abandonment. But before we embark on this enlightening journey, let's lay the groundwork and define abandonment. It's not just a word. It's a visceral experience that seeps into the very core of our being. Abandonment, at its essence, is the profound sense of being left behind, forgotten, or cast aside. It's the emotional echo of loss, the ache of separation, and the gnawing fear of isolation. Now let's dive deeper into this emotional labyrinth and unravel the layers of feelings that accompany abandonment. It's not merely the physical act of someone walking away. It's the lingering residue of shattered trust, fractured bonds, and unanswered questions. It's the silent screams of a wounded heart, echoing in the caverns of the soul. Yet amidst the shadows of abandonment, there is a light. It's in the moments of introspection where we confront our deepest fears and vulnerabilities that true healing begins. It's in the gentle embrace of self-compassion and understanding that we find solace. For in acknowledging our pain, we pave the path towards resilience and empowerment. So my friends, as we navigate the turbulent waters of abandonment, let us remember that we are not defined by our past experiences. We are the architects of our destiny, the authors of our own narrative. Through courage, resilience and self-love, we can transcend the shackles of abandonment and emerge stronger, wiser, and more compassionate beings. Join us on our transformative journey as we unravel the complexities of abandonment and illuminate the path towards healing and wholeness. Together, let's embrace humanity, confront our demons, and reclaim the power of our stories. For in the depths of our struggles, we discover the reservoirs of our strength. So how do we identify the signs of a fear of abandonment within ourselves? Well, understanding its origins is key. Often it stems from childhood experiences of loss, whether it's the loss of a loved one, the upheaval of a divorce, or a lack of emotional support. These events can sow the seeds of abandonment fears. Studies have shown that such experiences can deeply affect attachment styles and contribute to depressive symptoms later in life. One telltale sign of a fear of abandonment is our attachment style. This can range from anxious to avoidant and may persist from childhood into adulthood. Individuals with an anxious attachment style may exhibit behaviors such as a constant need for validation or reassurance, while those with an avoidant attachment style can struggle to recognize or express emotions altogether. Moreover, a lack of physical affection during childhood can exacerbate these fears, leading to a persistent longing for reassurance and closeness in adulthood. Studies have shown that affection deprivation can negatively impact various aspects of our lives, including relationship satisfaction and attachment security. So how does fear of abandonment affect our present and future relationships? It can breed resentment, distance, and conflict, making it challenging to build and maintain meaningful connections. Yet there is hope. With the support of a licensed therapist and understanding from loved ones, individuals can navigate through their fears and cultivate healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Communication is key in addressing these fears and fostering a sense of security within relationships. Partners can offer reassurance and understanding while also acknowledging their own limitations and needs. By fostering open and empathetic dialogue, individuals can work together to overcome challenges and strengthen their bonds. If you are struggling with the fear of abandonment, I have a message for you. I want you to know that you are not alone in this journey. I understand that grappling with a fear of abandonment can feel like navigating through a storm without an accomplice. But amidst the chaos, there is hope. There is light and there is a path to healing. First and foremost, I want you to acknowledge the strength within you. It takes immense courage to confront our deepest fears and vulnerabilities. Your willingness to explore these emotions is a testament to your resilience and inner fortitude. Know that your fear of abandonment does not define you. 
It is part of your story, yes, but it does not dictate your worth or determine your destiny. You are worthy of love, belonging, and connection, and you deserve to experience the depth of human connection without fear holding you back. Take solace in the understanding that healing is a journey, not a destination. It may be challenging at times, but there may be setbacks along the way, but every step forward, no matter how small, brings you closer to wholeness and liberation from your fears. Embrace self-compassion as your guiding light. Be gentle with yourself, especially on the difficult days. You are doing the best you can with the resources you have, and that is enough. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a cherished friend in need. Seek support from those who uplift and empower you. Surround yourself with compassionate souls who can hold space for your vulnerability and offer a listening ear without judgment. Remember, asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Practice mindfulness and presence as anchors in moments of distress. Ground yourself in the present moment, acknowledging your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Cultivate gratitude for the blessings in your life no matter how small, and let them serve as reminders of your resilience and capacity for growth. Above all, trust in the transformative power of love. Love for yourself, love for others, and love for the journey itself. Know that you are deserving of all the love and happiness that the world has to offer, and that your fear of abandonment does not diminish your inherent worth. As you continue on your path of healing and self-discovery, May you find peace in knowing that you are not alone. You are surrounded by a community of kindred spirits who walk alongside you, offering support, understanding, and unwavering love. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Mental Health in Black and White channel. Your support means the world to us, and we're grateful to have you as part of our community. If you haven't already, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay updated on all of our latest episodes. Additionally, don't forget to download our mental health workbook designed to support you on your journey towards greater well-being. Your commitment to your mental health is truly inspiring, and we're honored to be a part of your healing progress. Thank you for trusting us with your mental health needs, and we look forward to continuing this journey together. Until next time, this is your host, Zinda Zebra, and I'm signing off. Bye for now.